In this video, I'm going to explain how to handle content on the XVS G1. So the XVS G1 has two areas of memory. You have the non-volatile static drive memory that has a capacity of 200 gigs and the volatile RAM memory that has a capacity of 6,500 images that are available for real-time recall. The non-volatile static drive memory will still be there even after the switch has been powered down, unlike the volatile RAM memory. Clips, stills and animations need to be transferred from the static drive first to RAM before they're available for recall in frame memories and the clip player. So to talk you through that, I need to show you the content menu. So we come to content here, then we come to import, export and we hit add. Now, as you can see, because I'm using a PC with a browser, um, I have access to anything that my PC does. So I can use a USB drive or a network drive and I can import files from there. And a wide range of different file formats are supported. So I'm just going to import all of these. So there you go, you see the, they come up here. And I'm going to set my import properties. So you can see I can now select a destination folder or I can create one of my own, which I'm going to do. And I'm just going to call that demo. And then I can also give it a tag. And it's use really useful to tag things because it just makes it so much easier to manage a lot of content and organize yourself. So I'm going to create a tag for this and call it training video. And now I've set those two things and I'm going to import. Am I sure? Yes, I am. And then that imports for us. And it's complete. So now I can browse my files and you see I can filter. And now that brings up a menu where I can filter by a whole variety of different things. So I can filter by different folders. That's that one I created here, demo. I can filter by different tags, like my training video tag. And I can filter by different types, the combined clips, single clips, combined stills, single stills, audio, etc. So you know when you are filtering something because it gets a blue background. And just a quick thing I wanted to say as well, that if you're bringing in something that's a TIFF or a Targa, then it will come in as a pair. Um, so the alpha channel for that file will be preserved. And then when we're in this menu, we can also look at everything as thumbnails by clicking on these, this grid here, or we can look at everything in list mode. Or if we click here, it's list mode, but with properties. So when we select something, we can find out the properties of that particular file. For example, this one is a TIFF. We can also search for our content here. So if I click search and then type in something that I want to search by that I think will be there. So I'm going to search sport. And there you see everything with sport in the name comes up. Another really nice feature of the XPS G1 is that you can combine video and video or video and audio. Uh, so for example, if you brought in video and it doesn't have the right audio, instead of having to go back into an editing software, you can do that just right here with the XPS G1. So to do that, you come into the content menu, you go to combine, separate. And I'm going to find the snowboarder we were using earlier. Put that in my video and then for audio, I'm going to find one of these, tune one, and I'm just going to hit link now. So what that's done is it's linked those two files together to create a file, but we also have our originals. So if we look up here, we see we have the original, but we also have the snowboard linked. And then if I need to separate that at any point, I can then go to the separate menu here, choose snowboard link and separate them. The last thing that I want to go through is how to export your files. 
So if we go to the export menu, export as archive, and I choose the directory that I've set up. It's already set here in the, in the filter. As you can see, demo folder, training video. So that's showing everything that I have in my directory. And then I can export all of that by hitting export now. What that will do is it will create a compressed zip file on the computer and then you can take that and use it in other switches. So I hope that's given you an overview of how to manage your content with the XVSG one.